Hey guys, I'm going to read to you my story, Hansel and Gretel. And afterwards, I'm going to draw a velociraptor. A velociraptor. Once upon a time, about 72 or 3 million years ago, two little velociraptors named Hansel and Gretel were lost in a prehistoric forest. Hansel, we are so lost. Who ate all the breadcrumbs? Wait. Gretel, I smell something. Food. Hansel and Gretel followed the sweet smell to a house. It was a gingerbread house. The two hungry velociraptors started devouring the house. Nom 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 nom. This is delicious. So good. Hey! Stop eating my house! Came a voice from the rooftop. It was a very old looking pteranodon. <laughs> I, I mean, why just eat a house? Come in, come in, children. I have some delicious meat pies. Mmm. Something didn't smell right to Hansel and Gretel. They wanted to run away from the mean looking pteranodon, but the mention of meat pie made their tummy rumble. Come inside, you poor children. You must be starving, and the, the pies are getting cold. The pteranodon went inside the house, and the two little velociraptors followed in. Oh, what a mistake that was. There was no meat pie. Instead, the pteranodon turned out to be a witch. I'm going to fatten you up and turn you into velociraptor pie. Mmm. Poor Hansel was locked in a cage, and poor, poor Gretel was forced to clean the witch's house. Yuck! One day, the pteranodon was getting very hungry looking at Hansel and Gretel and decided it was time to cook them. Gretel, my dear, please check the oven temperature. Something didn't smell right to Gretel. Uh, what do you mean? I mean, check the oven temperature. Uh, uh, but how? Just stick your head in there and see if it's hot enough to cook a dinosaur. I mean, bread. But is that safe? What if I fall over? Ah, it's perfectly safe. Here, let me show you. Just as the evil witch stuck her head into the oven, Gretel gave her a big push and she ah! fell into the oven. Gretel freed Hansel, and together they ran away into the forest where their father found them. There you are, my children! Father! father! I thought I smelled something delicious, said Father Velociraptor. You must have followed the smell of my pie! Gretel took out a pie, and the Velociraptor family ate together happily ever after. Nom 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 nom. Mm, mm, mm. I wonder what was in Gretel's pie. Hmm. Anyway, let's draw a velociraptor. First off, I need to see what a velociraptor looks like. And thank you, Google Image. Here's a nice looking one. Okay, let's paste that here. Mm, make it a little bit bigger. Okay. Now I'll just draw over him and just kind of studying the kind of the lines of his shape and body. Like his head moves to his neck, the bottom of his jaw, and then his neck actually curves down to his belly. And there's his legs. And then his back just makes a one long line. Oh, that's an ugly tail. Let me try it again. Okay. Back and tail like a triangle. Good. All right, and his legs. Oh, these are massive big legs. Look how high they start. All the way down here. Curve all the way. It's just one curve down. 
and then the back of his leg it kind of angles. There we go, all the way to his feet and toes, sharp toes. His arms are like three little shapes like this. His claws, his shoulder and his forearms are pretty much the same. All right, so there's our Velociraptor. Um, let me draw over him. Now let's draw with nicer lines this time. All right, so let's get a black line. And I like this head going to the neck shape. And then the bottom. And then let's try that again. Okay, the head goes down to the neck. And then the top of, bottom of his head. And then his neck all the way down to his tail. I'm just gonna make it one long line and all the way back. Can I do it? Good. That looks good. All right, I'm happy with that. Okay, now his legs. Just make it into one long line. Curve and curve again like a like a bird. And then let's draw some toes here. Okay, good. And then for his little arms, I'm just going to let it hang down a little bit more. So I'll make that a little bit longer, like that, and then let's make the claws bigger because these are velociraptors. They have sharp, big claws. Okay, and his eyes there, and he's happy because he smells something, something delicious probably. Alright, so now let's just erase some of these lines. They don't belong here. Mm, getting a bit close. And that line shouldn't be there. Okay, I think I'll go all the way. And that line shouldn't be there. I'll keep the other lines. Um, and then for his legs, that line shouldn't be there. Good. Because his arms... All right, there is our Velociraptor. Now, we just need to color him in. Um, what color should it be? Red, orange, green? Green is, yeah. So he, so our Velociraptor can be camouflaged. Good for hunting, it's a good color for hunting, right? All right, so let's color him in quickly. A little bit smaller. And don't worry, I go back and I erase all the parts where I went over the line. Get the eraser. Let's clean that up. Nice. And then let's just lock the alpha so that I could kind of shade in some darker green. There we go. And then it's kind of his under his tummy and behind his legs. Give him more of a 3D. And some lighter green. Yeah. Top of his head where the sun is shining and the white eyes. Perfect! There's our Velociraptor. Hey, I hope that was fun and helpful. Be sure to subscribe and check out my other dinosaur fairy tales and my other stories. Yeah, do that. <laughs> I'm E.B. Adams, Trudens author and illustrator on YouTube. Thanks for watching. Bye.